What is that? How much? Okay, nothing. Oh, a good crown oh, ace. Huh? Personally, I oh, like wait. getting. Need to chat. I'm all ears, Witcher. You ever play Gwent? An immortal demands you fulfill three wishes. And you've the gall to propose a round of Gwent. Afraid to lose? No problem. I'll find someone else. I believe that's the worst wind-up I've ever heard. Lay out your cards. Not much I detest more than losing. Well, my congratulations. This card's yours. Thanks. Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. Ophiri was a dofo on a voyage through lands unknown. 
to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for her lass. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Afiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. <laughs> Oi, lads, mind the barrels. We're going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Cool. That's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. Ah, Horst must be livid. He's not. No? He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. Oh, I didn't think you'd have the stomach for a massacre. Situation got out of hand. <laughs> oh, sounds familiar. There you are, drinking, puffing on Henbane, and then, surprise, heads rolling across the floor. And none know how or why. I'm not amused. No? Why not? Because unlike you, Killing gives me no pleasure. The boar sodas aren't worth your tears. Sons of bitches to a man. Why did you need those papers? To sink the boar sodas, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellate. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Maria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Horst and Yule are gnawing on soil now. But thanks to these papers, their relatives won't get the auction house. Families lost it for good. And the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from a home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction, saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword, my mother's death mask, my brother's horse tack. Ah, Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune, and our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. I brawled. Then had another tank. And then... Then... I asked the wrong bloke for help. Summing up, you went broke, your woman dumped you. Then you got drunk and did something stupid. Heard it all before. 
And folks say I the heart of stone. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Say to something, then we'll chat. You then, yank the herring out the barrel. Yes. Come on, none of this dallying. to listen or do you still not give two shots about what i've got to say i'm ready i'm listening good you'll return to your lord and tell him as follows his demand was brazen hurt me to the core for i was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality <laughs> and i shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum understood i will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt so you ride off and announce me, and don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. We get to the matter at hand. Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. Not about to drink with you. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Why? Aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose, a violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dauntless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you can tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you God speed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. <laughs> 